This is the Ecotrick Peace Dove. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy this review of the Ecotrick Peace Dove. Go ahead and pause the screen for any extra information that I may miss in the video. And here's some extra information. Here we go again. Hey, real quick, thanks for watching. I hope this content helps you. If it does, please consider subscribing, hit that like button, and any comments you have, leave them below. I'll do the best I can to answer them as quick as I can. Also, before we continue this video, I mentioned multiple times during this video the Swagtron e bike. If you haven't seen that video already, I will have a link at the end of this video to that review also and unboxing. All right. Let's continue. I'm not going to make you watch me suffer through trying to put this thing together. If you want a little sneak peek of what it looked like, it kind of looked like this. Off with the tire, back on with the tire, back off with the tire, and we're going to go ahead and put that tire back on. As a matter of fact, I was having such a hard time at one point I actually broke down and double checked the directions to make sure I was doing everything right. And I was, it was just fighting me every step of the way. Now that I finally got it together, let's look it over and talk about some of its features. It has a quick removable front tire with pad front brakes. It's offered in a matte white finish or a matte black finish. It has the same battery as the Swagtron, a 37 volt lithium ion battery with rear disc brakes. It has 27 inch street tires, a seven speed Shimano shifter with a nice power indicator on the handlebars with different power settings, rear and front plastic fenders, and is more than big enough for any adult. The seat and handlebars are fully adjustable. And now, some riding footage provided by my lovely wife. Well, there you have it. This is the Ecotrick Peace Dove. I kind of think this is geared more towards women with the frame style and everything like that. It doesn't say it's a woman's bike on Amazon. I personally think it is. My wife loves it, as you could see from the riding shots. This actually is quite a bit faster than my Swagtron. Quite a bit. It's speedy. It has the same hub motor 
and battery as the Swagtron. So that being said, if you're looking to go for the same combo that my wife and I did, Swagtron for the guy, Eco Trick for the girl, the batteries would be interchangeable. I believe it has quite a few of the same parts as the Swagtron for a little less cost. That being said, I will say this thing was a bear to assemble. It does feature a nice removable front wheel for anti-theft, although I don't know why you would ever use it. It is a pain to get off and you have to disconnect the front brakes in order to get the wheel off. A front disc brake system would have worked better for quick removal of this front wheel. I will add, it doesn't have the rear brake squeal that the Swagtron suffers from. It does show a front rack in the photos on Amazon, however it does not come with one. I'm going to have to double check and see if it says it comes with one. I did double check and you are supposed to receive a second package containing the front basket. So I had to contact the seller and I have heard nothing back yet. Moving on to assembly. Assembling this, as I said, was a lot more tricky than the Swagtron. The Swagtron, all I really had to do was put the front tire on, adjust the handlebars how I wanted them, and it was pretty much done. This thing, as you can see from the assembly portion of my video, which was cut short due to frustration, is not fun to put together. The fenders, well, here's what I said after assembling it. I got both the fenders on, and my true 100% thought on these fenders is they are directly from Satan's workshop. They're a nightmare to put on. It's horrible. Yeah, they're not fun. Also, I'd like to add the fenders are plastic. They do make noise while you're riding and they seem a little flimsy and to me kind of makes it feel like a cheaper product. You even have to install the reflectors. Installation isn't a downfall in my opinion. I'm just letting you know that there is quite a bit more assembly involved with this bicycle. I did have to adjust both front and rear brakes during setup of this bike where I did not have to on the previous bike. That's not a deal breaker, but it is slightly annoying. Both of them were hanging up to the point where it was kind of hard to even pedal the bike. All in all, I think this bike is great. It's speedy, the battery life is comparable to the Swagtron. The battery is also removable. This battery does not feature a USB 2.0 to charge anything. Also, it's much larger than the Swagtron, by a lot. This is for sure an adult bike. Seriously, thanks for watching. I hope this video was informative for you and helped you on any decisions you were trying to make on this bike. That being said, until next time.